Hey guys, what's going on? This is Michael with IDB. And today, Apple has released a preview of some of their features coming in iOS 16. So this is pretty darn cool if you ask me. This is now the second year in a row Apple has done this and they do it for their accessibility features. So this is a whole press release. I'll have this linked in the description down below and you can read it for yourself. In this video, I'm gonna go over all of the features coming that were mentioned in this press release. So the first new feature is inside of the Magnifier app. So for iPhones and iPads that have a LiDAR scanner, so the iPhone 12 Pro, 13 Pro, and some of the later iPad Pro models, there is a new feature that is gonna be called door detection. So these devices already have a feature called people detection, and door detection will just be added on top of this inside this menu. So if you point your iPhone around your surroundings, on top of now being able to detect people and tell you how far away they are from you, it can now detect doors and tell you how far they are from you as well. So if you point your iPhone at a door, it'll be able to tell you certain attributes, such as if it's open or closed. If it is closed, it'll tell you how you can open it. So if it's a push-pull system, or if you can open it using a knob. And it can also recognize certain signs around the doors, such as room numbers and accessibility signs. And like I said, this new door detection feature will only be available on devices that have a LiDAR scanner. Another new feature is called Apple Watch Mirroring for iPhone. So this is pretty neat. If you have accessibility needs and you want to control your Apple Watch in a different way, you can actually mirror what is on your Apple Watch onto your iPhone, as you can see here in this menu. So I'm just guessing this is a iPhone running iOS 16 that Apple has a screenshot of. So this is useful because the iPhone has more input methods than the Apple Watch, and it's easier to see what is on your Apple Watch. Uh, as you can see this preview here, the screen is a lot bigger than the Apple Watch itself. So this is useful because you can use the iPhone's accessibility inputs, such as voice commands and even head tracking, which takes advantage of the true depth camera system at the top to control your Apple Watch. So this is pretty useful and I think people with accessibility needs are definitely gonna love this. Another change coming is for Apple Watch accessibility. So you may know some accessibility features on the Apple Watch include the ability to control it with hand gestures. So Apple has what they call a clench and a pinch. And now they're adding a new gesture in this upcoming release called a double pinch. So you can use the double pinch to do things such as answer or end a phone call. You can dismiss a notification, take a photo, you can start or resume a workout, and you can even play and pause media using this double pinch gesture. Another new feature, I think this one may be the coolest. I think it was inspired by what Google is doing just a little bit. It is called live caption. So the iPhone can now add captions to pretty much anything your iPhone is playing. So whether you decide to stream a video in Safari or if you are in a FaceTime call, your iPhone can now add captions to whatever spoken words are coming out of your iPhone speaker or Bluetooth headset. Apple has also said that they are adding over 20 new languages to voiceover. So some of these languages include Bengali, Bulgarian, Catalan, Ukrainian, and Vietnamese. We're also getting some new options in the Books app. So we have an option for some new themes and customization options. And these options include the ability to adjust the bolding of text, and you can also adjust the line, character, and word spacing. So all these changes inside of Apple Books should make it a lot easier for people with accessibility needs to read their books. Next up, one last change I wanna go over with you is called custom sound recognition. So you may know on your iPhone right now inside accessibility settings, your iPhone can already recognize certain sounds such as an alarm, a doorbell, a dog barking. But now you can actually set up a custom sound based on your environment. So if you wanna set up your own personal doorbell, you can do that and all you have to do is train it into your iPhone five times and then your iPhone will learn that sound and it'll give you a notification every time that sound is recognized. So it's just going a little bit further in being able to recognize sounds in your environment. I think this is really useful if you're in a workspace that has a very unique sound, that way your iPhone can recognize it and deliver you a notification if that sound is heard from your iPhone's microphone. So like I said, I will have this article linked in the description if you wanna read this on Apple Newsroom for yourself. I really love what Apple has been doing with accessibility and I think they really are uh, leading the industry in terms of what they're doing for people with accessibility needs. So if you guys found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like on it. Also comment below telling me what you thought. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Michael with IDB and I'll see you in the next video.